Modern Warfare 2 is just around the corner. And if you're anything like me, you're probably getting a little bit excited. So to try and keep that excitement contained, today we're going to run a Modern Warfare 2 loadout in preparation. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so that is... Uh... Oh! I'm going to have to try and get my hands back on the class somehow, but... No shot. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Please, I beg. Oh my... You've got to be kidding! So, model... <clears throat> what was that? So Modern Warfare 2 is just around the corner. We're getting it on October 28th, I believe. I personally am really excited. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run the M4A1 and the MP7 just to get a feel for how things might be on the new game. First things first, I have to actually get my hands on the loadout. And Doc has always proved really reliable for me to get like an early source of money and get the loadout as quick as possible. So that's where I'm going to head to start off with. And we're going to try and get his hands on this loadout. And I just nearly fell in the water immediately. That was scary close Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. I will take that uh, that portable buy station they're always good to find because sometimes sometimes you don't get a buy station where you want one so to have that I'm quite happy with it so some of the stuff we've heard about Modern Warfare 2, one of the things that really stuck with me is that we're going to have the ability to, like, shoot out the tires on vehicles and stuff. And they've expanded on the damage as opposed to what they are now, which is pretty much a vehicle either works or it doesn't. I've not heard many people talking about this when the discussion of Modern Warfare 2 comes up. But for me personally, I'm really looking forward to that. I think that sounds really interesting. You know, you're playing Warzone 2, you've got a Jeep pulling up on you. And instead of having to just kind of accept your fate, just blow its tires out. And I wonder what other damage is going to be. They said that you're going to be able to like lean out windows and stuff too. But yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to putting that to some use. At this point, I'm just looking forward to playing something new. Don't get me wrong. Warzone is my main game. It has been for some time. It's sort of, I'm in the position I'm in now because of Warzone. And of course, I'm grateful for that. But let's call a spade a spade. It's a little bit stale. We kind of have to like make our own fun here now. <laughs> We have to we have to find our own ways to make the game enjoyable. Oh no, please. Okay, that's okay. As opposed to the game itself just actually being fun, you know? So here we go. We've got the MP7 and the M4A1. Enemy dropping into the AO. I'll take a look. Not seeing them right now though. I would love with the with the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer as well. I would love for them. Can you remember the old? Now it's an old game mode. I don't think it's been in COD for a while. Do you remember Sabotage? Sabotage was basically, there was, for those of you who don't know, if it was a bit before your time, Sabotage was a 20 minute mode with a bomb in the middle of the map. And what you had to do was try and plant it at the enemy team's um, base. Both teams had a base to defend. And what it would end up being, where am I getting shot at from? What it would end up being was pretty much just a crazy 20 minute death match. Sometimes, sometimes the bomb would get planted instantly. But sometimes it could end up being a 20 minute death match. And it was so much fun. I don't know what happened to that mode. I think a lot of the good modes have been forgotten over time. I used to really enjoy headquarters. I think it came back recently, but... A lot of people seem to have forgot some of these old classic modes. I'd love to see Sabotage come back. Hostile dropping into the area. This M4A1 still feels as good as it ever did. It's just so reliable with the recoil. Sorry, bud. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take you out. I'm not going to try and farm these people. If I can get a kill, I'm just going to take the kill. But what I would really like to know from you guys is in regards to uh, weapons coming from Modern Warfare 2, what would you guys like to see? Do you have a weapon that you're hoping to see? Do you have an assault rifle in particular you would really enjoy? 
I know for a lot of people, it's probably going to be... Can I get that? I know a lot of people are probably going to be really wanting the intervention if you're a sniper. I know that's going to be a popular choice for a lot of people. The ACR was a good one. I'll tell you what, I'm hoping that we don't get the older Kimbo models. That was, uh, that was bad. If you, if you know, you know with the Akimbo models. I'm sure that's just sent. That's done one of two things for the old Modern Warfare 2 players out there. That's either sent a shiver down your spine or you think it's hilarious because you used to be one of the people that was running them. Now, if you don't know, the Akimbo models were, uh, were some shotguns. They were based on like old, like really, really old blunderbuss looking things. And you could dual wield these. Now, for some reason, who is shooting me? Is oh, there he is. Now, for some reason, these akimbo shotguns. When I say they would cross map people, I mean that very, very literally. Just these two shotguns, one in each hand, and they would kill people across the map like it was nothing. So, uh, yeah, if they if they come back in all their glory, that's going to be a not very fun thing for those of us who are playing Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. I hope they learned their lesson there. But I guess only time will tell. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring them back. It would be funny if they brought them back for like an April Fool's thing. Just to mess with everyone. That'd be good. I've just tried to look over that rail, IRL, Enemy to spot that guy. Dude, this guy behind me. Oh my God, dude, I've got this guy near the tower shooting me in the back while I've got other people sat in corners. <laughs> Dude, I need to get this. I need to get this guy out of the game. He is a nuisance. He is a menace. He has got to go. Oh. Thank goodness the MP7 is as good as it is, man. Or I would have been in some real trouble this game. I tell you, these Modern Warfare guns, these are just as good now as they ever were, man. You can still run these things and be absolutely fine. And I've just come across an absolute stack of loot. Some of it, I think, might actually be mine. Oh, no. Not a rose skin! Not a rose skin, please, dude! Oh, I still respawn. I thought I was out. Okay, okay, okay. Right, we're going to have to try and close this out somehow. Right. Oh, no. I'm gonna put all my eggs in one basket. Okay, and he's just there with an NZ. Ten Ten. Uh, just the just the antithesis of fun and enjoyment. A rose skin with an NZ41, making sure none of us people out there trying to have fun can have fun. But let me know in the comments what you guys are looking forward to with Modern Warfare 2. What guns do you want to see come back? And do you have any game modes you'd like to see? Like I say, for me it's sabotage. And I would love to see a nice scar come through that we can actually run and compete with the other meta guns. If you guys enjoyed, hit that sub button, I guess. Damn these sweaty rats!